Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and this is a video tutorial on removing PHP uh, and other extensions from files on your web server. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be creating a basic page that allows a variable to be taken in the URL bar. Don't worry too much if you don't know about that. It's going to be about three lines of code. Uh, what we're then going to do is go on to create our HT access file, and we're going to allow ourselves to uh, specify a file but without .php or without .html uh, and obviously in this tutorial we're going to be focusing on removing the .php okay so uh, you don't really need any knowledge of HT access uh, it's very simple three line um, you know code for the HT access rewrite rule um, and we're going to be using the rewrite engine to change the way that URLs are handled and I'm going to explain a little along the way. Um, most of it's regular expressions, though, so uh, they're sort of like another topic. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do this. So um, I've got a page here called name.php, which I'm going to allow uh, a variable to be passed through and then just displayed on the page. Um, and you can see that I've got this file just here. Uh, the reason I am uh, allowing a, a specific string to be passed on, like you can see here, I've got name equals Alex, is because eventually we're going to be removing this like that. So we're going to want it to look a bit cleaner. So, um, you know, that's why I've chosen this. Uh, at the moment, that will just say object not found because we can't find something called name. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll write out our PHP script, a few lines like I said, and then we'll go ahead and start to create the HT access file. Okay, so I'm going to obviously open up uh, PHP tags. I'm going to do a quick check in here uh, if this variable that we've specified in the URL is set. So if get name, so checking that it's set, uh, then I just want to echo out that variable. Okay, so it's you know, relatively straightforward. It's just uh, the ability to uh, pass this string here and output it to the page. So it's just so we've got some kind of functionality to work on. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and do the important part and set up our HT access file. So I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to pop a space in there and I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now I'm going to save this as .ht access. It's important that you don't call it ht access. We want a blank file name with the extension ht access. So when we save this out, uh, that will look like that .ht access. And I've actually spelt it wrong, so let's go ahead and just rename this. So ht access with two C's. Okay, so now that we've created our HT access file and actually spelt it correctly, let's go ahead and start to actually rewrite our URL or allow, allow our rewrites to be written, or URL to be rewritten. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and turn the rewrite engine on. And that just allows us to be able to change the URL, specify conditions and rules. Okay, so the rewrite condition is the uh, file name that we're giving. We're not giving any paths, anything like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we want the uh, the file name. So we use a uh, percentage sign here. In curly brackets, we use request file name. Now, after this, what do we want to do? Well, um, we want to let the uh, rewrite engine know um, and I'm not an expert on this, but we want to let the rewrite engine know that it's not a path to a file. So we want to say not minus f, and that will say that that basically means not, as it would like a, an operator in PHP, uh, say not uh, a path to a file. So that's what we want to do. We're requesting a file name. Now we need to create a rewrite rule uh, that allows um, us to specify it without a PHP, but then add that on to the file name. So we need to create a rewrite rule. Now the rewrite rule uses regular expressions. Um, I'm going to add this little hat symbol here and then some brackets. And inside of here, we're going to uh, apply the... Um, uh, the uh, expression. So outside of here, I've got this dollar here. I believe that just allows us to be able to pass on, uh, not pass on, but allows us. Uh, oh no, no, sorry. Um, the uh, the dollar sign. Um, well, this starts off the regular expression. This ends it. Okay, I'm thinking of something completely different. Anyway, uh, so right, we've got the start and the end of our regular expression. 
uh, let's go ahead and do this. Now, what do we want to match? We want to match something and then continue to match. Um, and we are matching a dot. So we have here this. Okay. Uh, now, what we're going to do after this is we're going to apply what we've matched um, and uh, essentially stick a PHP on the end of it, but the ability to, you know, not... Um, not actually have to specify it. So I'll, I'll write it out first. We say dollar one, which is obviously uh, the what we're taking from here, and we're putting a PHP on the end of it. Um, and I'm just going to put an NC on there, and that just ignores the case, so the case doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go back and just refresh. Um, we've got something here that's been pulled from our URL, and then a PHP has been stuck on the end of it. That's probably you know the best way I can explain it. Um, so let's go ahead and refresh and see what happens. Well, um, at the moment we've just got name.php. Everything's working. We're not getting any errors, so I can assume that I've typed everything properly. Now let's go ahead and check if our functionality actually works. I'm going to go ahead and remove.php, and you see it's worked. We're actually accessing a PHP page without specifying .php. Okay, so we're essentially done. Uh, if you want to go ahead and blatantly copy this, here is the code. Um, so why would we want to do this? I'll, I'll spend a minute uh, just talking about why we might want to do this. Well, the first reason is that let's say we, for example, were to create an HTML file that uh, I don't know, you know, quite a few people access per day. But we then needed to change that to a PHP file for whatever reason. Uh, we either couldn't be bothered to change any of the rules in Apache to handle PHP within HTML, or we just wanted to, do, you know, switch it over, you know, easy. Um, well, that means that if you don't specify .html on the end, and users can access, you know, say name.php or name.html regardless without the extension, it means that you can update your HT access file to deal with this. So uh, it allows your users to specify things without, and you know, you don't get tied down to extensions. Uh, the other reason is it's better for um, search engine optimization. Uh, at least it's you know thought to be. Uh, better for search engine optimization um, you know it just looks cleaner as well so when you know when you have someone visit the site if you uh, you know have something that looks uh, without an extension it tends to look a bit nicer anyway but uh, anyway the main point of this is the functionality which is here uh, we've seen that it works um, I've included this sort of speci specifying a variable on the end uh, that's output to the uh, the page functionality just so you can see that it looks a lot better uh, this could be anything really it could be output name you know dot php but obviously we wouldn't be showing the php because that's the point of the tutorial but I hope you found this useful um, it's a great thing to do like I said I've listed some of the benefits and uh, that's how to remove file extensions uh, using HT Access.